Today we're going to create a Polaroid style montage of this picture right here. Polaroids were those old uh, film pictures that were taken that had a white border around them. We're going to stack them on top of each other to make a montage for, the, for this cast from the office. First thing I'm going to do is just go up to view and I'm going to do fit on screen just to make the picture as big as it can so that it fits on the screen. I'm also going to go to view rulers and I want to close this gap right here, this gray gap. I think I'm just going to hit fill screen right here. And I have this little bar that shows up at the bottom here that I can scroll the picture back and forth. And I'm just going to scroll it over to the very edge like this. All right. So the fir very first thing that we want to do is uh, define a pattern. Um, what I want to do is just make it so that this picture is a custom pattern in Photoshop. So I'm going to go up to edit and define pattern and I'm going to name it the office that just the way that the picture is named that's fine and click OK. So now we've created a pattern for this picture. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my rectangle tool which is also the U key on the keyboard you can type and it'll bring up your rectangle tool and I have default black on top which is fine and with the rulers up here I'm going to measure out how big this uh, rectangle is going to be. So I'm just going to go up to the very top corner where it says 0, 0 and I'm going to drag a rectangle and at the top here it says uh, the numbers at the top I'm just going to bring it to 5 and while it's on 5 I'm also going to bring it down to 3.5 and, and so it's going to be 5 by 3.5 and, and once you have it lined up on those two numbers go ahead and let go and you'll have this black uh, rectangle show up. I'm going to use my move tool. I'm just going to move it down here uh, just so it's in the picture a little bit. Now I'm going to add some layer styles to this. So I'm going to go to layer, layer style, and the first thing I'm going to do is do a pattern overlay. So I'm going to click pattern overlay, and if I move this dialog box a little over, you can see that there's a pattern on this that's filling up this rectangle. Now what I want to do is first of all, where it says link with layer, I want to uncheck that. And then I'm also going to choose as my pattern the picture of the office that I just created. And right now, uh, right now you can see that the picture is off of where it should be. Meaning this picture is a picture of what's behind it, but it's not showing you exactly what's behind uh, this picture right now. What I'm going to do is just click Snap to Origin. And so now you can see the border of my uh, rectangle but it's not off center. So all of them, all the rectangles that we're going to make are going to have this uh, this pattern inside them right on top of itself. So that's where our pattern comes in. I'm also going to add a stroke, so click stroke. And my stroke color I want to be white, so I'm going to choose white from the colors here. And I'm also going to make the size right here 5 instead of 3 to give it a nice bold uh, cutout for the white and it looks like a photograph. Okay, and the third layer style and last layer style we're going to do is a drop shadow. So click drop shadow and um, I'm going to go to blend mode normal and I'm going to change my angle to up here boys, maybe 121 degrees and the distance, spread, and size I'm going to change uh, I'm going to make all of these 15. So highlight all of those, make them all 15 and then click OK. So now we've got one rectangle done. Now that's our shape, shape one. And it's got these effects applied to it. Now our background layer, what I want to do is just turn that off. So I'm going to turn the eyeball off for the background layer. And so now it just looks like there's a single photo taken right here. I'm going to click on the background layer and I'm going to go down here to the bottom of my layers palette and say create new layer. And this is going to be my color background. So I'm just going to double click that and name it color background. For the color background, I don't want to choose just a boring old white. I'd rather do something uh, else, but not a really bold color either. I just want something nice and subtle. So I'm just going to go into my blues here. So, so this is kind of dark royal blue. And I'm going to choose kind of a slate gray blue color to put on my background. So mine's this code right here, 7885B5. So yours should be close to that color. Uh, actually I just moved it around a little bit. 
seven six eight one AC will also work. So that you can just use this number right here and type that in. Click OK. I'm going to use my paint bucket. Make sure you're on your color background layer, and I'm just going to give this a nice slate blue. Now with this shape, I'm going to click on the shape one. With this shape, I can actually change things about it, and it'll automatically stay wherever the background is. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to go to Edit Free Transform, and I'm going to rotate this. And you'll notice that as I rotate it or move it, it shows me what's behind or what what the pattern is. So we're going to be making a lot of these rectangles and placing them in a way that it looks like this photo was taken with a montage effect, or that the pictures basically were taken of this group, but they lay on top of each other in a way that you can see the entire photo perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and so we're going to make a bunch of these photos just like this. So for shape one, I'm going to drag this down to my duplicate layer uh, button down here next to the trash. You can also right click it and just say duplicate layer, but then you have to click OK. So now I've got another uh, picture on below it. I'm going to use my move tool and I'm going to move this out here and go up to my edit free transform again. Hold on. Edit free transform. And I'm going to move this in a way that it captures more of the people uh, that are in this picture. Now, what I want to try and do is make it so that the picture border does not go over the top of anyone's face. In other words, uh, I don't want to cut off her face in the middle or his face on the side. So make sure that you're getting the people's faces in without cutting them off, because otherwise it doesn't look so good. I'm actually going to rotate this just a little bit so that we can get people's faces the right way. And you may have to play with this a little bit uh, just to get it right. There we go. And I'm going to make another copy of this. So I'm just going to drag mine down to this icon that says Duplicate Layer. And I'm going to move this right over here. And I'm going to free transform it again. I'm just going to push Control T this time. But you can also go to Edit Free Transform. And I'm going to move this in a way that we can see more of the people. Now, if you're, if you're, uh, if you cut off anyone's head in previous ones, you can always put this over the top. Uh, for example, I'm going to hit enter here. If I turn this eyeball off, see how it's cutting her face off right here? If I put this picture over the top, then it doesn't matter anymore because now we have a new picture taking its place. So I'm just going to make another duplicate of this picture, move it down here. And I'm going to retransform it again, Control T, or you can go up to the menu. I'm actually going to move this off screen a little bit because I don't want to cut off his face. And I'm going to make a duplicate of this one. So I'm just keep making duplicates. And we're going to put this in a place that it'll work. I think I'm going to put it right here. And I'm actually going to have it cut off his face like this, but this is my last layer that I made. All I have to do is pull this underneath until I'm underneath the previous layer, and then I'm going to pull it underneath the next layer down. And now it's not covering him anymore. So I'm going to make a copy of my last layer again. I'm going to move this over to capture this as well. So I'm going to put this right here. And you notice that it's cutting off a lot of everything, basically. I'm going to move this one down so it's below pretty much everything. I'm just going to keep pulling it down. This is my copy 5. I'm actually going to probably make this be my bottom layer. All right. So I've made one, two, three, four, five, six pictures, make this photo montage, and we have this drop shadow to make it look like they're separate photos. And we've captured everyone without cutting off anyone's face. And that's very important. We don't want to cut off anyone's face. So 
as you're doing this, just make sure that everyone's faces are intact, and we want to make sure that everyone is visible as well, and that we, we can see everyone. So use uh, at least six pictures to create this, but we don't want to see everything uh, in the picture. We just want to see the people. So just make enough so that you can see all the people, and then it looks like it's sitting on top of a solid surface. You can also put this on top of kind of a, a picture of a desk or something, and then it looks like it's made up of different pictures or Polaroids of these people. So there you have it.